Hello everybody, uh, this is the second vlog on Garb August. So there's tons of people doing Garb August, which is a lot of fun seeing everyone's videos on it. And I'm not doing these shorts videos on it. I'm doing these vlogs, which is like where I'm gonna do little bits and put them all together. So this is the second part. So uh, just as an interruption to that, I've got this other thing going on in August, which is Audible August. So after those first three books that I talked about in the first Garb August video, I started this. So this is the biography of Howling Wolf, Moaning at Midnight. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I've read half of it so far. It's really, really, really good. Uh, really fascinating uh, and really hard early life he had. Um, so uh, that's kind of been explored at the beginning and then it's into his chess years and, and into his successful period in the early part of his career. Uh, really, really good. Uh, definitely recommend it uh, if you're interested in the blues. Um, tons of other people mentioned, um, you know, absolutely clear, comprehensive context for the early blues people. Uh, yeah, so fantastic. So that was um, a slight interruption to Garb August because I want to read these um, Audible August books as well. So that was the first one in that. Um, so I'm going to read the second half later on in the month. So, so the thing with non-fiction books, I don't tend to read them in one go. I tend to sort of take longer to read them because I kind of read them in bits. Uh, that's just me. Uh, so the next thing I picked up <laughs> is a Nick Carter book. So I'd never heard of Nick Carter books until Ollie talked about them on Criminal Ollie's channel. Um, Criminal Ollie is the mastermind behind Garb August and he's celebrating uh, trashy books. This is definitely a trashy book. Uh, I've read um, the first third of the book so far. Uh, it's called The Human Time Bomb. It's got a horrific uh, cover there. Um, and uh, I don't mean horrific as in horrifying, but just horrific as in <laughs> why would you do that? Um, and uh, yeah, it's definitely got a a tone to it that's probably quite consistent and serious so this is like so i thought i might get this kind of feeling from the saint books but the saint is obviously a much more timid and soft version of this kind of thing so um i've already had um quite an extensive sex scene in it and um a, a, um, a couple of fights and uh yeah i mean it's not particularly gripping it's not particularly interesting but it's an experience reading it so uh, this is all about reading stuff you don't normally read, I think. Uh, I mean, probably not for Ollie, but <laughs> for me, it's definitely reading stuff that I don't normally read. And uh, yeah, it's quite funny reading it. So Nick Carter, I'm reading that. This, this is, this is a series of books. There's 206, I think, 206 books. It's number 46 in the series. Um, I looked it up to see if there was um, some evidence of who had written it. And... Uh, because in all these books, you've got the character name and the title of the book, but you haven't got any author written, which is obviously one of the sort of trashy things about it. And uh, uh, I did look up the author. I can't remember his name, but I'd never heard of him. Uh, so the whole series has been written by tons and tons of different authors. And uh, clearly, they didn't mind being anonymous. So, yeah, Human Time Bomb is my first one. So I'm about a third away through it. Uh, it's interesting. <laughs> So this is the next vlog, and I finished Nick Carter's Human Time Bomb. So number 46 in the Nick Carter books. I've got to say, that cover is completely irrelevant to the book, and so is the title. I don't know why it's called The Human Time Bomb. Uh, yeah, massively Bondy, Bondesque, James Bondesque. Um, it was all right. I mean... Um, it was a kind of a big kind of climax at the end, a big fight, finale, set piece thing. It was all right. Uh, <laughs> this is the next bit of Garb August. So I've just read the Nick Carter book and I've just been shopping. And um, so I've, I've got the rats. So I know this ticks off a few boxes um, and uh, Ollie has praised this book. So, yeah, we'll see what it's like. So The Rats, a very famous and influential British horror book from the early 70s. And then I found a book 
that was written by Roxanne Dawson. So Roxanne Dawson's done lots of directing as well. Uh, so we all know her as uh, Blana Torres in Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. And that's her on the front, I think. Um, but this is part one of a trilogy that she wrote with another guy, um, Daniel Graham, whoever that is. Uh, but Roxanne Dawson, uh, author. Let's see what that's like. Just read the first chapter. Spoiler alert. The guy that he's just spent the entire chapter giving all his backstory has died already. So this is interesting. Uh, I've read, I'm over halfway through, so I think I'll finish this today. And I'm enjoying it. I got to about page 90-ish and realised I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Um, it's very brutal though, it's really violent, it's, uh, it's quite nasty, very nasty. But it's interesting that you went off on a um, big rant about class, a big political rant um, at one point that lasted a good couple of pages really. So that was a surprise. But yeah, I mean it doesn't talk down to the audience and I'm enjoying it. So... I finished it. I finished Rats, and I liked it. It was some of it was what I expected. Some of it wasn't. There was some political stuff in there I didn't expect. The uh, violence in it. There's a lot of violence in it. Most of it was horrific action. Uh, a lot of that was kind of what you'd expect. But there was some stuff that was pretty shocking at the beginning. Uh, definitely the first half was more shocking. The second half. Uh, was a little bit more of that sort of third act kind of solving the situation kind of thing. But, yeah, and, and and what was interesting was he created all these characters that were almost expendable and then a main character emerged through the different short scenes in the short chapters and I thought that was kind of interesting. So, yeah, um, I mean, he's not a genius, it's not amazing, but I enjoyed it. So I'm really pleased I read it. The Rats, James Herbert. I'm not sure what I'm going to read next for Garb August, but I'm going to nip into the Audible August theme, my own uh, challenge for the month of August, and I'm going to read The Inner Game of Music. So this is uh, a non-fiction book that's designed to help with confidence, and I'm hoping this can give me some ideas to help my students out. But uh, it looks really interesting, so... Um, if it's really, really good, I'll do a separate review of it. But I'm including things that, like the Howling Wolf book, I'm including that in this, this Gar of August vlog because most of the month is going to be that kind of thing. But I've got a chance to read this, I think, before I go on holiday. When I go on holiday, I'll take some books with me, but I don't know how much reading time I'll get, and I don't know what I'm going to read. So we'll see what time I'll have after I come back for the rest of the month. But, uh, yeah, this looks fascinating and interesting. So that's going to be the next thing I read. All right.